The UK will hold a public inquiry into the death of former Russian FSB officer Alexander Litvinenko, poisoned in London nearly a decade ago. The investigation could shed light on who was behind the assassination. Polly Boyko reports. Alexander Litvinenko, as many of you will remember, was a former FSB officer who died in London in 2006. Now, some of his family say that they believe that he was working for MI6 at the time of his death, but he was allegedly poisoned with radioactive polonium after drinking tea with two Russian men in a London hotel. Now, the new investigation is set to examine whether or not Russia was behind his death, and the Home Secretary, Theresa May said that she was hoping that the inquiry would be of some comfort to Alexander Litvinenko's widow. Last year, a judge ruled that indeed a public inquiry with its wider powers is exactly what is needed to try and get to the bottom of, of how Alexander Litvinenko died. Now, the timing of this is very significant. It comes at such an acute point in relations between the US, the UK and Russia uh, in the wake of the crash of flight MH17 over eastern Ukraine. Now ministers in Westminster have reportedly said that the timing of the inquiry is pure coincidence but what a coincidence it is. Do you believe in coincidences guys? Litvinenko was poisoned over two, sorry, ten years ago, a decade ago with radioactive palladium. Right, now let's just think about that. If that is tied back to Russia, and Russia get the blame for using radioactive polonium in a country, that could be seen as an act of war where a biological material has been used on a country, right, that is part of NATO. Remember, an attack on one country is an attack on all countries. This is no coincidence, guys. This is just the build-up to, or the rhetoric to war, which is what David Cameron, Barack Obama, and all the other UN nations are pushing for. There is no coincidence in the fact that this inquiry is now going to find, I bet you, it will find Russia's involvement in this. And again, on the back of MH17, as has been reported. Let's see what this other correspondent has to add about this uh, matter. On Moscow. Uh, the timing of the announcement of the public inquiry into the death of Alexander Litvinenko is uh, quite strange in a sense because uh, uh, the decision was made before that the public inquiry will not go on. Both Russian and, and British governments uh, decided that it was not in the best interests of national security to do this. This uh, uh, particular um, investigation has been uh, brought up again because we are living uh, at the time, at this moment, in an atmosphere of anti-Russian hysteria, uh, which is basically, in, in, in my memory, I don't remember when all newspapers would be attacking Russia in such a way on their front pages. So every little helps, as they say here. So See, I find this very controversial. That Russia, Mr. Putin goes to Brazil to announce the BRIC Nations Bank, uh, which is going to challenge the IMF and more so the, uh, you know, the global standard or the dollar and uh, <coughs> two days after MH17 crashes and b within an hour it is already blamed on Russia and you know the world pays very little attention to it because we all see for what it is a f you know a false flag event this was deliberately diverted and told to reduce altitude and therefore and, and it was shot 25 miles from the Russian border and blamed instantly on Russia we've heard them all come out David Cameron you know we've seen the British pe press smearing Vladimir Putin you know uh, without having the facts to hand they haven't even finished their inquiry or investigation with MH17 so you know all this is just a build up to provocation and you know, if Russia are found guilty, which I believe there will be in this inquiry, of being involved in, you know, a weapon being used, uh, you know, a 
a, a radioactive weapon being used or a biological weapon being used in <coughs> in another country then I would have I would have said that gives the green light for you know NATO to use a first strike uh, on Russia and I'm talking a nuclear strike because that's that's what they'll do that's what we've seen America change their policies on instead of a defense uh, using missiles such as ICBMs nuclear missiles for defense purposes then they're going to use them as a first strike tactic right that is exactly what they will do in this case and when they are questioned about it they will say it was in retaliation to you know the conclusion of an investigation which showed Russia to use radioactive isotopes or weapons or whatever in another country i.e. England in the killing of Litvinenko think about that that's what they'll say and they'll also say that Russia not only was you know involved in the shooting down of MH17 but they was also involved in you know the the fracturing of the Ukraine it's you know it's not washing with anyone but these maniacs are going ahead with the plan regardless and I wouldn't be surprised if Putin is not in on this because that still remains to be seen whether this is not just a big part of the plan to wipe out the majority of the inhabitants on this planet remember it's in front of our faces we've most of us have seen and this isn't a conspiracy some sociopath has put it on a stone monument in Georgia I'm talking about the Georgia Guidestones where 7 billion will be reduced will be reduced to 500 million and there are a list of other things that will be done as well as that it is the new world order plan and we could very well be on the threshold of a nuclear holocaust you couldn't make it up this as far as I'm concerned is a far worse situation the Cuban Missile Crisis because these dirty little Arabs right that are running the Western worlds in the way that they are are going to launch a nuclear strike and they will strike first now if I was Putin I would be considering you know the same thing because Putin knows the Soviet Union isn't the strength it was back in the 80s it knows the full force of NATO even if Russia's allies stay by the side of Russia in an attack from NATO it is as I have demonstrated in other videos a well lubricated highly advanced army and there isn't a match for it on this planet and this is all to do with the fact about that challenging of the IMF with the BRICS nation bank and nothing else I really don't think the IMF cares too much about the fact that Russia took Crimea see I'm still on the fence guys I don't know whether Russia's in on the plan or if he's not then we are certainly looking at you know the possibility of a nuclear crisis this is no coincidence that this has been brought up now this is one of those moments right ten years ago that was seen as a possible future advantage point i.e. Russia have been involved in using radioactive weapons in countries not of their territory that is how it will be painted and with everything else Russia has been accused of recently it will be enough to justify a first strike offensive on Russia that's a serious serious matter guys for your consideration these are the psychopaths in which all of us are allowed to stay in place and threaten the future of our generations to come and even the very likelihood of us being on this planet in the future because I said before you know on the back of the research that was conducted 
uh, in the 90, 80s and 90s with regards to even a small nuclear exchange it would cause a thermonuclear winter on this planet for at least 12 months and not to mention the fact it would radiate the ground for 450,000 years it pretty much is an earth destroyer and I cannot believe for one minute that these people in the western governments are actually poking a bee's nest it's almost like they are you know they don't care unbelievable you tell me how they offer how, how that is any form of public service when they are prepared to engage in such atrocities they ain't worth being I tell you now they should not be in government they should be removed immediately I'm talking about David Cameron all of the other people that have since they've took their positions in government have waxed themselves rich that's the only thing they've done is looked after themselves and their friends and corporations and the same goes for America with the House of Senate and the others and Barack Obama that's all they do is look after themselves these are public servants and they needed to they need sometimes to be reminded that they are public servants they serve pu the public that is their job not to serve corporations as they are doing I just can't believe it guys again I, you know I seem to be saying this more and more often it's becoming unbelievable if you, you know I don't think you know Disney could produce something like this or Hollywood and make it more believable than what it isn't already it's in absolutely incredible and I can't believe it you're looking at the build up to a third world war here guys you're already involved in it as I said they are not using weapons at bullets at the moment and bombs they're using financial tools of destruction that's what they're engaged in right now heads up bye for now